Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Today we're talking about the top 10 things you'll regret not doing on a cruise. You may be so involved and excited when you're on board that ship that, you know what, you might forget to do some important things, something that is so simple, but almost might be, one would say, once in a lifetime. That's right. The first thing I think that came to our minds was watching the sunrise or a sunset. Now, Kevin has done that, and he loves to take pictures. We have a lot of beautiful pictures on the walls of our house of the sunrises and sunsets that Kevin has done uh, way up on top of that ship <laughs> early early in the morning or as the sun is going down I just wait for him to come back and look at them now the next that we have on our list is what Frank dining outside yeah yeah dining outside now we've done this many many times and it's actually part of our cruise ritual. <laughs> so uh, whether you choose to eat your breakfast outside, uh, whether you want to eat on your balcony uh, and have a meal, or whether you've decided to uh, be on a cruise line where there's an outdoor right. restaurant area. Like, Dining uh, El Fresco. Yeah, like uh, where we We were with David, no, Dave and Darlene. We were able to eat outside. Uh, the sun was going down. You're right there. You can hear the water. Oh, there we go. We checked two right off our list right there. I Dining know. outside in the sunset. Yes. So, yeah, it just kind of, yeah, chickadee, chickadee, chickadee. You don't want to forget, though, getting those cruise ship photos and memories. It's Funny you say that because while we were at La Cucina dining al fresco, <laughs> listening to the water, the photographer did come to the table. That's three and I one. Know. Check, check, check. Yeah, to take our picture mm -hmm. and Dave and Darlene's. And so, yeah, and whether you have the ship photographer doing that or you're doing that with your own camera or, you know, whatever, please don't, don't miss out on those memories. Mm-hmm. So next on our list is meeting new people and engaging them in mingling. Mm -hmm. That's right. You don't want to be a loner. You want to get out there and mingle. You want, I mean, that's the best part of the whole cruise, at least for us it is, is meeting all these new people from all over the United States or from around the world. Uh, what about partying? You oh, yeah. should party like it's 1999. Get, get out there. To the pool parties or the discos mm -hmm. or you know they have theme parties yeah whatever is happening and bring a costume get dressed up find out what's happening on the ship before you sail and while you're at those parties you should try some new food or yes. maybe a restaurant that right. you haven't tried Which before you normally wouldn't try at home this is a perfect opportunity to try new food because you know what, whether you're in the, up at the buffet or in the main dining room, and of course it's complimentary, it's free, you know, take it, sample it. If you don't like it, don't eat it. It didn't cost you anything. Now next on our list, we really don't do anymore, but <laughs> it's get dressed up. Right. Get dressed up, put your finery on, and maybe you check off one of those things by getting dressed up and having your photo taken. Right, because like us, We've been there, done that. But for other people that haven't, that maybe uh, dressing up is a big deal, people that maybe look forward to a Christmas party or a New Year's Eve party because they like to get dressed, a cruise is also a good opportunity for you to get dressed up. Uh, and speaking of getting dressed up, you might want to get dressed up for the sail away party. Right. Now, that's really fun as a ship sails away, and especially we like going out of New York City because as that boat is sailing out, it uh, yes, the Statue of Liberty under the Verrazano Bridge, which you can practically reach up and touch. Uh, it really is an event uh, going out of New York. Now, we know that everybody is budget conscious, but <laughs> put some 
money in your budget to buy some souvenirs. I know. Don't cheap out. Don't don't come home and because you know people are gonna ask a did you have a great time and b what did you buy what did you bring home and if the answer is nothing we didn't we didn't buy anything why what's wrong with you I mean gosh a little souvenir of a cruise which is a major event and finally uh, a big thing is you need to bring and put on that sunscreen. Oh, don't forget that. You will regret that. <laughs> Probably safety. the most. Safety in the sun. I know. <laughs> yes. And even sometimes when we did use some suntan lotion and spray, we did regret it. Well, because sunscreen. Yeah, oh, sunscreen. It, we regretted it because it just wasn't enough SPF. Mm -hmm. So we had to up our game. So all of these things, you know, you got to make sure you do. You don't want to have regrets uh, when you get home and go, yeah, you're right, because, you know, everyone's asking you how it was, and we go, no, we, we didn't do that. No, we, we didn't book a specialty restaurant. No, we didn't see the sunrise. No, we didn't eat out. Oh, God, what were we doing? <laughs> no regrets. We want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we want to remind everybody that we're on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and that Frank has Cruise Chat. Right. It is a Facebook group. Just click to join, and we have, oh gosh, we're way past the 700 member mark. And everybody from experienced cruisers to people that haven't cruised and want to, from all the cruise lines, come join us. So until next time, we want to tell everybody to travel safe and cruise often.